Hey everybody and welcome back to Hayes Tech. We're going to go over how to put RAM into your HP. And I did a full review on this one. This is the one you can purchase at Walmart. Um, it is a notebook. Um, it is around six six hundred and thirty dollars. You can get it at Walmart. I love the laptop. It's working great for me. Or my wife purchased it for me for video editing, and so far it's doing a great job. The only problem with it is it comes with four gigabytes of RAM in it. Uh, I want to increase that to at least eight gigabytes. But before I do that, I have to figure out. I have to make sure it at least has two slots in it. Uh, one open, of course and uh, I want to find out what kind of RAM uh, it takes. That way I know what kind of RAM to order. So I'm going to show you guys how to access that. The first thing we want to do is flip this over and when we come back we'll go ahead and take the screws out of it and take a look at the motherboard. And as always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. You hit that notification icon to get a notification of my videos as soon as they're released. That way okay, you guys can it. probably see right off the bat we have one, two, three, four screws showing. And I don't see any of the other except for these four screws showing, but there are other screws. And the way you have to access that is you have to actually pull up these rubber feet right here. Let me back out. You have to pull up these rubber tabs or strips. So first thing we're going to do is take out the four screws. They are a small Phillips. I don't know what number they are, guys. I'm just using a small Phillips screwdriver of my own. Uh, the screws seem to have a little bit of blue Loctite on them. I would try to keep them oriented in the way that they need to go back. I'm setting them off to the side here and the orientation that I'm taking them off. Okay, now I've taken out those four and there are other screws underneath these pads and I'm, I'm gonna try to figure out how to get to it without really ruining the device or scratching it but this is the bottom I'm not too concerned there it goes okay now I'm going to peel this up very slowly and purposely because I do not want it to break and when I'm done I'm gonna set it off to the side so that I can reuse it to put it back on the bottom and I'm pulling up very slowly guys because I don't want that I don't want this to break Again, I want to reuse this. I want the sticky to stay intact. I'm going to set that off to the side now to get the top one off. Again, I'm just using a butter knife. I'm just going to get it underneath the edge, lift up just so I can access it. Now this one's being a bear. There we go. I've got a corner lifted. And I'm going to again proceed to pull up very, very slowly because I do not want this to break. I want it to, when I'm done, I want it to look like nothing ever happened. You know, nobody was into this computer. But this is where HP hides the rest of the screws to access the motherboard uh, for any type of upgrade you may want to do to it. Now I'm almost a hundred percent sure from the research that I've done that about the only thing that you can upgrade on this laptop is RAM and uh, maybe adding a uh, an SSD to it but uh, we're gonna go ahead and and look we're gonna see uh, the next thing you want to do is remove the rest of the screws we have in here Again, you don't have to be as careful as I am being uh, with respect to the orientation of the screws that you're taking out, you know, keeping them exactly where they are on this, on, keeping them exactly where they are 
uh, located and putting them in their exact same holes, but I'm just kind of weird like that. Okay, so you've taken all the screws out. I'm pretty sure the DVD player will slide out now. Okay, maybe not. Now we want to flip this over. We're going to go ahead and open the PC. Now we have to get in around this little edge, or around the edge of this, and we want to try to open it up. And this is going to get tricky. I'm going to try using a guitar pick. Okay, so I'm through on this side, and I'm just going to go through here and just snap, unsnap everything slowly. And I'm not going to go in too far because I do not want to protrude in far enough to catch any cables. Yes, DVD player needs to... Just have to be careful. Okay, that's it. We now have the bottom removed and we can go to the main board and take a look at it. I'm sure you guys wanna see this. Okay, so we are into the laptop now. Here is our RAM slots. We do have an extra slot open, so we can definitely upgrade that. Here's our battery. Um, this is our hard drive. So to replace that wouldn't be that hard. You just pop out those two screws there, pull that out, replace it. This is the WLAN. This is the RAM, and in order to pop the RAM, or to replace it. Yeah, I just want to make sure that we can read, or that I can read everything that I need to read. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on the, on the RAM here. You just pop these tabs out to the side and the RAM should just flip up like that. Pull it out. Uh, let's see, Rev 2.0, model 2018, 0416, made in China. So there's the mother, there's some motherboard information. And the RAM, it's Samsung RAM, 4 gigabyte, PC4 2666V, SCO 11. I'm gonna take a picture of that so I have it. And now's the time to go ahead and take pictures of everything. That way you have it uh, for reference because there's a lot of information on this motherboard that is going to come in handy later on. And I'm gonna take pictures of it from all areas so that I can scroll through and kind of have a schematics of my own to look at. I do wanna take a look at the processor and the fan. If I'm not mistaken, this here is that extra RAM they're talking about, that HP, whatever the hell it's called, kind of like an MSD, and I'll show you that real quick, guys. But this, I think, is upgradable, too. I could be wrong. Yeah, this is a PCIe 16 gigabyte SSD, okay? And this, you can actually upgrade. You want to lift and pull like that. So this is replaceable. I'm not sure where to find it at, but it is replaceable. I'm not sure how far we can go up to, but that just pops right in here. And I shake so bad. Boy, there, there used to be a day, there used to be a day when I used to do this really proficiently. That just kind of pops in there like that. And then it screws down right there. Like I said, from, from what I've read on it, it's kind of like the new technology with hard drives that plug directly into your motherboard now. So I wanna take another shot of that. The more pictures that you take, the better off you are gonna be. As far as information goes, what you need on your motherboard, any kind of upgrades you do, there's information on this board that you just need. I do have the information I need on the RAM that I'm running on this. So I am, I am gonna go ahead and order that and I'm going to I'm going to try to put another 4 gig in here and upgrade it to 8. 
I can't afford to go to 16, but I, I'm going to at least try to go to 8 gigabyte. I'm going to research that and see if I can't possibly get, get something a little larger than that. And that's going to be about it. Unless, and I really don't have the money for that, but it, what would be nice is pull out the hard drive and replace it with an actual SSD, like a one terabyte. That would be awesome, but you know, it is what it is. But that's it. I can't think of anything else. Uh, throwing this back together is in, in reverse order. It's fairly simple. Uh, HP's done a great job with this, I think. Here's the fan. It's nice and smooth. Cooling tube. They are changing uh, laptops around quite a bit. It used to be they used to have a little access door for any extra RAM or anything like that. So if you guys have any uh, questions or any comments, please post them down below in the links. I'll be trying to throw in some overlays on top of me talking here quickly. Uh, I just want to say if you guys want to contribute to any of these projects, I'm not taking money. I'm not asking for any money from you guys. Uh, but if you have any extra parts lying around that would work on either this or uh, my old computer, please get a hold of me and uh, send it my way and I will uh, include your name in on the uh, video uh, and you know let everybody know what you donated to the project and that way it's kind of like a, uh, a community build you know what I mean so guys thanks for watching the video I just want to thank all my subs so guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that notification bell icon next to the subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next video